everybody, my name's Ben, Pat the Chemical Apes team, and welcome again to another Subnautica guide. So for this particular guide, we're going to be looking at getting the nuclear reactor fragments. Um, it's a real, real good one for those that are wanting to get a lot of power in the base, but I will go into that a little bit shortly. Uh, but in terms of where we are and where do we need to go. Now, there are two locations. I'm going to take you to the easiest one first. If you're not successful in getting all frags there, then I'm going to take you to the second location. Uh, so where do we start from? We want to set, start from ideally the center of the map. Uh, you can find this by going to these coral tubes here. Uh, sticking out, there's another set there, it's not those, it's this one here, which is close to the Aurora. Uh, that way I can give you the exact direction and distance that you need to go. So where do we want to go? We want to go just shy of two clicks right of southwest, and we want to go 1,325 metres to this first location. Uh, it's going to be just short of 200 metres, so you're not going to need a depth module for the seam off, anything like that. Um, obviously, you're going to need your scanner, and you're going to need a um, high-capacity tank, possibly ultra. Uh, there is a wreckage there, so you may want to explore bringing the laser cutter by all means. Uh, but the fragments typically are outside of the wreckage. So, in terms of what this what this um, nuclear reactor can do, it can generate around about three, uh, sorry 250 um, energy units per minute. Uh, so it's massive. If you compare that to say the bioreactor where you throw organic material in their fish, so on and so forth, that produces around about 50. So the difference is pretty big. Um, the What it basically needs for the energy is nuclear reactor rods uh, built by uranite. The uranite can be a little bit tricky to find, but each rod can hold up to 20,000 units of energy. So it is massive. Um, so it's, yeah, so it's it's not my personal favourite, but it's each to their own. So we, we sort of want it, like I said before, we want to keep on just short of two clicks right of southwest. And we're going to be going through the sparse reef. Now you shouldn't be going any further, any deeper than 200 metres. So if you feel like you're going deeper, then you've obviously taken a wrong turn. Um, I do recommend putting a starting point at where I said, at the coral tubes, that way you know your distance. So back to the waypoint, and we should be approaching it quite soon. Once you see these, you know you're in the right direction. So there's a little path here, and hopefully, fingers crossed, there it is. So there's your first wreckage. There we have it, guys. And you're going to find all the parts required around this area. So if we get out and we do a scam, torch is always a good one to have, uh, even when you've got the sea glider. So Cyclops hull, that's good to know. Cyclops hull, that's good to know. Um, but if we venture around... And hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll find those fragments. It's quite a large wreckage. It is one of the big ones within the game. Um, and Cyclops fragment. But plenty of Cyclo <laughs> Cyclops. There's the, there's the first one. Okay, so... And I believe, if you do circle, obviously, spawn rate differs for each player. So it will... There's your second one. Uh, so it will vary depending on obviously the game played. So I'm going to take you to the second location now. The second location does have a higher spawn rate, but it is a little bit more dangerous. It can be a little more deeper. So I'll see you at the starting point in one second. Okay, guys, we're now back at the starting point. So if you've not found the frags, the required frags at the first location, this is the second location. This is got this has got a higher spawn rate. Uh, it is a little bit more dangerous and deeper, of course. Uh, 
so in terms of where we want to go, we want to be going two clicks left and west. What you're going to need for this is at least a depth module Mark 1 for the seam off. We're going to be going around about 300 meters. Uh, there are multiple tiers to this, so you can go deeper on the wreckage, you can go deeper. Uh, the second tier, you're going to need depth module Mark 2. And the third tier of the wreckage, you're going to need depth module Mark 3. It will make more sense when we get there. So two clicks left of, uh, sorry, two clicks left of west from the starting point. Um, now, what we're going to find down there is a multitude of baddies, ampules, um, warpers, and all pretty much high sort of ranking, sort of uh, medium threat sort of um, fauna, effectively. Uh, what I do suggest you have, if you can do, is primitive defense system. Always goes well with the seam off. Um, and other than that, really, it's, it's more of a daunting sort of area. A lot of music kicks off, as you'll notice in a minute. And it's pretty scary stuff. So we're going to venture through from the sign point, through to the Grand Reef. And we're going to come to a channel, uh, which you will see shortly. So just keep around about the 100 meters mark for now uh, don't delve too far down and then you will see what i mean so you can see there if we keep on the two clicks left of west this is the start of the blood kelp channel so what we don't want to be doing is taking a nose dive straight there we're going to follow this round just keeping on the edge top edge of this and to the right of this Make sure you've got the lights on, on the seam off. I'm just gonna keep following it around. If you're losing it a little bit, do go that little bit deeper, uh, but not too deep. And then you wanna be keeping on the 200 meter mark and just make sure you're on the right side of this and then follow it around. It's gonna bend around. And then what it's gonna effectively look like, we're gonna to come to the end of it. Uh, we don't actually if you elevate so keep going and then you can see looks like we've come to the end if you just go over and back over you should then see an opening uh, and it's just effectively the same channel so this is the first part of the wreckage uh, 300 meters deep and already can see frags and this has by far got the highest spawn rate. Uh, done many tests on this. So that's your first fragment. And there's a lot of parts around this area. So for those that haven't had that success, I'm now going to take you to the second location. So we're going that little bit deeper. If I can find the bloody seam off, there it is. And what you want to do effectively is just go down, descend down. And it's, like I said before, it's on multiple tiers. There's this bridge here. You will usually find fragments around this location. There you go. Fragments again. Check on both sides. Another fragment. It is littered with fragments. And there we go, guys. We're getting deep. We're getting to the hard zone. And there is the bottom level. And it is around about 600 meters deep. And for those that aren't having any success, this is where we need to go. So in that time, we found about eight fragments. Uh, I can see around about eight fragments. So I hope you like the video, guys. Uh, good luck with that one. Uh, ciao for now. Bye-bye.